name? My name is Michael McGurris. And age? I'm 25 years old. Major? My major is kinesiology. Hmm. How do you feel about what you just saw? How do I feel? I feel... The, com uh, the combination of jazz and poetry. Um, they seem quite fitting. I mean, just jazz as a concept. And uh, poet I mean, they're both abstract and really open-ended. So the, the two forms together, the multi, uh, uh, multi-medium, it makes, it makes perfect sense to me. So, um, yeah, they seem to go hand in hand. Shouts are whispers carrying to the farthest corners sometimes of the now known world. Undecipherable and unlettered. Uncodified, unparsed, in tongues unanalyzed. How? What's your name? My name's Alex. And your name? Major. What's your name? Major is Art. How do you feel about what you saw? What did say? I thought it was very interesting. You know, the jazz was very, uh, very brought me to home. And the poetry, Langston Hughes, he's a great author and he's a great poet. What should the students learn from this experience? Well, they should get a grasp of history, because Langston Hughes was a storyteller. He was someone who could travel, did travel all over the world, and had a way of writing in such a vernacular that everyone could understand what he was talking about. So what he's doing in this work, this work is about Langston's commentary on the whole struggle for freedom and equality among African Americans and Africans during the 1960s. 18th Street and Vine. I've written, called repeatedly, even rung this bell on Sunday, yet your third floor tenant's never home. Did you tell her that our credit office has no recourse but to the law? Yes, sir, I told her. What did she say? She said, tell your mama. Hey, it brought me up. You know, I was, you know, I was feeling tired today, and then this just like woke up my legs. I got like the happy feet. You know, the <laughs> and I was in there, high off the feet. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you.